Hey guys, it's Blumroop. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be playing a bit more with The Sims 4 for rent and I thought it would be the perfect time to start recording. I was playing a little bit on my own to get our very first tenant in the unit on the bottom right right here. And we actually got our very first event. So it says water leak. The water is leaking everywhere and in two is the river font. Um, so many bottles and no one can even take a shower. This one household demands something must be done. Visit the unit to sort out the problem or call a contractor queue over the phone. So uh, we don't have that much money, so it's probably best to just go ahead and wake poor Ayla up in the middle of the night and change into her little uh, landlord, uh, like a handy person kind of outfit, which is this one. And we can uh, go ahead and go over to the household. They actually just moved in like yesterday so we haven't even introduced ourselves to our very new tenant so this would be a great time to introduce ourselves while there's a water leak going on so here we are let's have Ayla knock on the door right now and looks like our tenant is right here so maybe first it would be <laughs> nice to just introduce ourselves to her so let's introduce yourself say hey, I'm Ayla I'm the owner of this property I'm so sorry about the water leak problem and I think we are just offering some comfort right now but it looks like something is broken right here so oh a lot of things are broken so let's go ahead and repair this this is actually perfect because we do need a, a level 3 handy skill for a promotion in our handy person job so um, it's perfect to get some practice in right now um, yeah, I've been busy making a little bit of money to fix this apartment up to make it rentable. So I added this little living room area and this uh, little bedroom area as well. So now it's actually a livable space that we could rent out, but it still needs some work. But over here you can see the agreement for this unit, which is right here. So I managed to get 160 simoleons rent per day. Uh, this lady was uh, able to pay this every day so i just maxed that out because really the money and it says here that the size is small the amenities are basic the environment is lacking and maintenance is poor and then we have three rules going on it says no loud noises um, maximum occupancy and then no trash overload so if she um, doesn't obey it's any of those rules we are able to find her i think so poor ayla also has to go to work really soon <laughs> let's just say that we will we will work from home today because i don't think we'll be able to finish this all up in time um, because she has to start work normally at six so here it says water leak great job taking care of the annoying water leak problem in uh two is the river fund. the tenant household is satisfied with your prompt action and your unit rating went up okay so that's great looks like she is asleep right now so let's just leave her be and um, we can go ahead and head home I think right. so we are back home and for a work from home assignment we had to research repair techniques on a computer and of course the computer is really expensive <laughs> but I managed to buy one by selling all of the lights in one of the upstairs units <laughs> so um, we have a computer now and we have literally like no simoleons at all but let's go ahead and see where we can research the repair techniques right here. So I'll just have Ayla finish uh, this work from home assignment up and maybe after that we could go ahead and head to the tiger sanctuary because I really want to see um, what fun we can do over there and um, maybe what kind of lore we can learn from viewing that one uh, statue over there. So I'll catch up with you guys because this part is kind of boring. <laughs> so Ayla changed into something a little bit more suffery and comfortable and now she's heading over to the tiger sanctuary. In my head I had a story that Ayla doesn't really know her mother that well because she did pass away when she was pretty young still. But one thing that her dad always told her about was that her mom loved the tiger sanctuary and uh, the tigers and she always went over there to donate everything that she could donate she was very generous just like Ayla is um, so visiting the sanctuary is like a really sentimental thing to do for Ayla because it connects her a bit with her mother um, and what she enjoyed doing when she was still around so here we are at the tiger sanctuary 
it looks so cool um it looks really like worn down and with a lot of moss and stuff on it but before we go over here we're gonna go ahead and view this statue that's in the middle over here and um, maybe we'll get some kind of uh, lore about the world or some kind of story from viewing it we'll just have to wait and see here it says the great mother Kunmei lived a long and fruitful life serving her people the Tomorani people still honor her and the oath to the tigers of mutual protection legends say her soul continues to pass through the generations of tigers that come after her if you keep an eye out you might catch her watching from the brush assuring her promise is kept others say the glowing eyes are an omen of the beast's inevitable return Regardless, Kumei lives on in truth and in legend as the great mother of Tamari. So that's really cool. I really like it when they add some kind of story um, to the world. But looks like Ayla is just doing some good old cloud gazing. But maybe we can go ahead and go to the actual sanctuary itself over here. It does say right here we could donate something. But <laughs> regarding our funds right now, I don't think that's too smart. So maybe we could just visit the uh, tiger sanctuary for now. So let's go ahead and have Ayla do that. So let's wait for uh, Ayla until she is done and gets out of the sanctuary again. Looks like we just got... Oh! Okay. <laughs> but it looks like we just got a pop-up conf conservation station in the lobby a resident conservationist is getting ready to start a Q&A session with a group of enthusiastic uh, sims perfect timer eager to learn more Ayla hurries along to join in already raising a hand to ask the first question we could ask for fun facts about tigers or ask about current conservation efforts I feel like Ayla is gonna ask about fun facts about tigers um, because she is so fascinated by the animals and it says conservation station. A group of tigers is called a streak or an ambush. While, white, while tigers are typically solitary animals, they will sometimes form groups to care for cubs or to hunt for food. The last thing anyone would want is to be ambushed by an ambush. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, I didn't know that. And it looks like also we found a blue tassel. It looks like Ayla is overheating <laughs> right now. It is really hot, so maybe we could go ahead and really quick change into our hot weather outfit and then I think we'll just go ahead and head home again so we are back home maybe we could add this tassel next to the other one that we got at the night market because it's a nice little decoration for a room and oh my god looks like we also got some earbuds I'm just gonna <laughs> straight up sell those <laughs> for a little bit of extra money um, but I did wanted to see if we could do any new tenant um, in interactions okay looks like she's right here but let's see and uh, we did already talk about rental conditions um last night when we went to the water leak but we could uh, maybe have a neighborly chat i'm not sure what that would look like so we can start the are just crossing their arms and having a little chat or something <laughs> it looks kind of funny but it looks like we got a little um, pop-up neighborly chat Ayla and Chisa had an uneventful chat, but they did cross their arms and while crossing arms they readily agreed that crossing arms does make oneself feel pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> but let's have Ayla quickly um, maybe cool down a bit from the hot weather. But I did put a bar down from the gallery and I was thinking maybe tonight Ayla could go ahead and head to the bar together with Gon and Yen, the other woman that she met at the night market and they could just hang out together over there because being a tenant does take a lot of work and trying to make money is a little bit tiresome so i feel like we could both use um, a nice break from it and just head to uh, the bar but i'm just gonna have Ayla relax and cool down a little bit and um, then when it's starting to become evening maybe around five or six we'll go ahead and head to the bar and i'll catch up with you guys then see you in a little bit So here we are at the bar that I placed down. It is a place down in the part of the world where the night market is also at. I think it's right over there. But I'll put the name of the creator of this bar up on the screen right now if any of you would be interested in um, looking at this bar too. Looks like our dad is inviting us but we're busy right now. But she is here with her two kind of friends. Um, they are Gan and Yen. 
and she is feeling very happy right now she's feeling connected to her roots it says like a tree the roots of Isla's culture run deep and taking part in these activities help her feel connected and nourished so it seems like she's really happy to be here right now with all her friends but they are right now just playing some darts for some reason i couldn't get a bartender right here um but maybe they'll show up a little bit later but it looks like it's uh Isla's turn again, but here you can see both of her current friends. She does have a little bit of a crush on Gun still, and because she's family oriented, she would like to eventually um, settle down with someone, but um, I don't know what will happen with her in the future. But so far, for this gameplay, I feel like I explored what I wanted to record, being the world and just a little bit of the tenant gameplay. And I really feel like I want to get back um, to my usual content. But I really hope you had a good time watching it. And thank you so much for enjoying the gameplay with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I can't wait to see you again next week when I share another video. Take care guys. Bye bye.